Welcome, welcome, Build Out here. Super, super excited about this video. And in this video, we're going to talk about PMO tools and best practices around systems and selecting tools and just some of the experiences I've had in the PMO tool space. Wait, wait, before I continue though, I do want to spend a minute and introduce myself. My name is Bill Dow. I have 30 plus years of hands-on experience in the PMO and project management space. Over the last 20 years, I've managed 10 PMOs across four different companies. I love this space. This whole channel is dedicated to PMO best practices, project management best practices, and really sharing my background and experiences as I tackle this and do this on a daily basis. Okay, let's jump into this video because I'm super, super excited about this one. In the fast paced world of project management, PMOs are vital to an organizational success. I've said that a million times and I'll continue to say that PMOs are vital. And as projects grow more complex, having PMO tools and systems are critical, right? It's critical. We need software solutions to help us streamline our processes, enhance our visibility, empower the PMO to steer projects and programs to successful outcomes. So from portfolio management to resource optimization to reporting, we need PMO tools and systems in place to help us be successful. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's jump into the top best practices and insights from a PMO and systems perspective over my 30 plus years of doing this. The first thing you wanna do is understand your PMO tools and capabilities. So before starting on PMO tool selection, right, it's critical to understand the diverse capabilities that the PMO tool software offer. Right? These can range from comprehensive portfolio management systems to resource management platforms to risk management tools to advanced reporting and analytics engines. Right? Um, but I've said it a million times PMOs need tools to be successful, and you really need to understand all the capabilities of all the different tools out there to figure out what you need for your organization. Number two, Assessing organizational needs and, and challenges, right? The key to selecting PMO tools is understanding what are some of the challenges and what are some of the needs that your PMO needs to would be addressed by software, right? So identifying those PMO pain points in some current processes and then prioritizing the functionality that you need within those tools is critical. Make sense? Okay, number three evaluating tool, PMO tools, features, and capabilities, right? So now you've understand your requirements, you understand your pain points. What you wanna look now is at the PMO tools, capabilities, and their features. And you wanna look at ease of use, scalability, integration with existing systems, API calls, right? At the vendors, track record and support services, right? You want to look at all those items before you actually select so you uh, the software. So you want to work closely with the vendor. But before I continue, let me ask you a question. What challenges have you faced when selecting PMO tools? And how did you overcome them? What tools did you do you have in your PMO today? Right, and how did you get there through those various challenges? Comment below and let me know. Okay, number four, involving stakeholders in the selection process. I love this, right? Enga engaging your stakeholders, your project managers, your team members, your program managers, your tools folks, right? You want them to be involved in the tool selection process because you want that buy-in. You want that organizational change management and you want them to be involved in that process from the very beginning. Number five, implementing and integration of the solution, right? Once the PMO software has been selected, now you need a well-planned implementation plan, right? For rolling that out, crawl, walk, run, crawl, walk, run. I say it all the time. You want to slowly implement this and then slowly increase the, the features and the maturity of using that software. 
Number six, leveraging advanced reporting and analytics. One of the keys to a PMO software is really around advanced reporting and analytics capability. Tableau, Power BI, I've been using Power BI for years. You really want to be able to have that advanced reporting within your PMO to understand all the programs and projects that are executed. Hey, hey, well, while we're talking about tools, I just want to digress for a second. I've got a product called the PMO uh, Manager's to, uh, Toolbox Template Package. Yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful. But basically what it does is it's it has 23 ready-made PMO templates. What's in this package? I have a full webinar and a full ebook that you'd be able to download. I have all the slides in a PDF so you can walk through that webinar or you can walk through the PDF slides and have those ready. But what tools do you get? Well, you get a PMO charter. You get a PMO business challenge tracker. You get a PMO assessment inventory guide. You get PMO metrics uh, ebook. You get a PMO playbook uh, PDF. You get a PMO schedule template. You get PMO standard software products. They're not listed as part of the presentation material, but we talk through that, right? <clears throat> I can't give you word, uh, I can't give you Power BI, for example. You get a PMO Rhythm of Business Calendar template. You get a program health checklist. You get a project health checklist. You get PMO dashboards and reports templates. You get a PMO maturity model. You get a PMO budget tracker. You get a PMO resource chart. You get PMO agile tools, including a daily scum process, an agile user store, a story card, a agile a product backlog, an agile theme calendar an Agile Sprint Planning Board, an Agile Sprint Backlog, an Agile Burndown Chart, an Agile Burn Up Charts, and an Agile Sprint Retrospective. So there's 23 tools that are in this package. We'll put the link below. You're absolutely gonna love it. And it's really gonna help you move your PMO forward. Okay, we were talking about tools. I thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, let's jump into number seven which is a continuous evaluation and adoption, right? So technology is constantly evolving. Your PMO is constantly evolving. It has to be agile. It has to be adaptable. So what you want to do is really look for the PMO tools and systems that are going to help you be adaptable and agile as your business continues to change. Does that make sense? Okay, let's wrap this up. At the core, right, all PMOs need tools and processes. You need to walk through these seven points to really understand how do you bring tools, PMO tools, within your organization. It's got to be a step-by-step -step process. You got to follow this in a linear manner and make sure you're doing the right thing for your organization and you're bringing in the right tools to help your PMO mature going forward. I love this topic. I could literally talk about it all day. If you like this types of videos and you like this type of advice, please subscribe, please hit the little bell, comment below on the video. I'm dying to know what tools you have in your organization. Let me know. My name is Bill Dow. I encourage you to watch the next video. Um, we're constantly putting out new videos. The next one will be with the latest video as well. Um, constantly giving PMO and project management advice. Thank you very much and I'll see you online. Thanks.